Good morning and welcome to the Kila Chari Torah Daily Halacha Review and Sfira Omer Count for Friday, April 23rd. Today is the 26th day of the Omer. Hayom Shisha Esrim Yom Shem Shloisha Shavuos V'Chamisha Yamim La Omer. Uh, we're going to start talking about uh, the laws of Mukta on Yom Tov. Mukta we're familiar with uh, as a category in Hilchos Shabbos and the laws of Shabbat, uh, which say that something that uh, either is very valuable and we're afraid it'll break, or it has a use. Uh, that's not a Shabbat use, like a camera or a cell phone or a computer uh, or uh, other various uh, categories of, uh, of items which don't have a particular use on Shabbat. We don't, not only do we not use them, we don't even handle them or move them. Uh, so that's a whole uh, section to discuss uh, and we'll review when we get to the laws of Shabbos. For now, we're talking about uh, the laws of Yom Tif and Kitz Shochanach writes, anything mukta that's forbidden to be handled on Shabbos is similarly forbidden on Yom Tif. Some authorities say that things that are purposely excluded from use and things excluded from use because they are uh, dirty, unpleasant, uh, filthy, although they may be handled on Shabbos, cannot be uh, handled on, uh, on Yom Tov. They could be, uh, yes, on Shabbos, not on Yom Tov. Therefore, fruits that were set aside for sale are forbidden to be handled on Yom Tov unless you designate them on Erev Yom Tov and you say, I'm going to eat some of this fruit tomorrow. Considering, uh, concerning fruit that's scheduled to be sold, a little bit at a time, you can be lenient. Uh, Tractate Beya, Masechet Beya of the uh, Babylonian Talmud deals with this whole issue. Uh, that's the beginning of Beya Shnolda Beyamtif, an egg that is laid on Yamtif. What's the status of that egg? So at the beginning, on Erev Yamtif, it didn't exist. So it does now. You're not allowed to handle an egg that was laid on Yamtif, but you may cover it with a vessel so it's protected from breaking. If it were to have been laid on the first day of Yamtif, you can eat it on the second day. Uh, but on the second day, if the second day of Yom Tif occurs on Shabbos, it's forbidden on Shabbat as well. Similarly, if the first day occurs on Shabbos and it was laid on that day, uh, it was forbidden also on the following day, which is the second day of Yom Tif. A little bit complicated there. Whenever Shabbos and Yom Tif border, whether before or after, if it's laid on either of these days, it's forbidden on both days, the egg. And on Rosh Hashanah, even if it was laid on the first day, also forbidden on the second day. Two days of Rosh Hashanah have the din, as we discussed when we talked about uh, Rosh Hashanah, called Yom Ha'arichta. It's one long day. That's where we get into the whole question. We make Shechianu a second time. We usually put uh, new food out on the table to obviate that question. Um, in reference to the law regarding other Yom Tovim, when it's forbidden to prepare food on the first day for the second day, no difference between uh, other Yom Tovim and Rosh Hashanah. It's also forbidden to do so on Rosh Hashanah because to affect uh, relaxation of the law, we do not say it's uh, Yom Ha'arichta, one long day. Uh, if Rosh Hashanah occurs on Thursday and Friday, even if the egg were laid on Thursday, it's forbidden on Shabbos as well. If a hen were slaughtered and an egg found inside it, even though the eggs are developed, they are uh, permitted even on that very day. So a little bit different situation whether or not the eggs are, uh, have been uh, laid or not. Uh, let's remind ourselves that this evening earliest candle lighting is quarter to seven, 644 is the earliest time you can uh, light candles and usher in Shabbat. Uh, actual candle lighting time is 7.56 this evening. Uh, if we were to be gathering for uh, Mincha and Kabbalat Shabbat at KST, that would be at 7 o'clock. Unfortunately, we're not able to do that given the restrictions, but uh, hopefully we'll all dive in together at, six, at 7 o'clock wherever we are, and we'll think about being together. Uh, Shabbat ends tomorrow night at 8.59, so please join us at 9.09. Uh, for uh, Havdalah, Zoom Havdalah, a very enjoyable musical Zoom Havdalah. We we'll hope we'll see you then. Have a wonderful Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom. Take it easy, relax, rest, restore, recuperate, and uh, we'll be in touch after Shabbos.